Hey guys, welcome back. Definitely gonna be a warm one out here today. I'm taking advantage of the shade just for a minute because I'm thinking about an idea that I actually found by going through some of the social media sites that you guys are probably a part of. And well, I came across an idea that I think will work really, really well. At least I think it will. And I'm gonna try it here today with my brand new HM 130 Max. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a five gallon pail and I'm gonna secure it to a hook right here. And then that pail is more or less going to hang down here and then it's going to collect sawdust and you're probably wondering well why on earth do you need to do that out here the sawdust can just blow free and well just more or less just cover the ground no big deal well eventually i'm going to be moving this back to over where that new lumber shed addition is that i'm putting on and when that happens my space for moving sawdust is going to be limited so i want to have the ability to capture the sawdust take that bucket and dump it wherever i want it to uh, as you've seen in some of my other videos with my other sawmill, what ends up happening is the sawdust just blows right out the back of the sawmill shack and that's fine and dandy, but that's not going to be the case with the new lumber shed edition, which is where this thing's living. So we're going to go ahead and put one of those ideas that one of you guys probably suggested. I didn't come up with this and we'll see how it works. If it works, well, that's great. And if it doesn't, well, I guess we're back to the drawing board. So that's what we're up against today. Beautiful sunny skies. Bugs are probably going to get cooked today just a little bit, and I'm not going to shed a tear for that. So glad to, guy, blah, 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 glad to have you guys here. Welcome back. Okay. First things first, got some tools here. Got some hardware. And I think I forgot the hook. Anyways, let's just see what we're going to do here. So I am thinking There we go. I'm thinking probably I don't know. What what I've experienced before is the sawdust kind of shoots out horizontally. It doesn't a little bit falls, but most of it shoots out horizontally. So I I probably want to have it, I don't know. I don't know, maybe something like that. I think that's going to work. Let's go see if we can find that hook. Well, I spent about the last 10 minutes looking for it, and sure enough, because my hammer's got a magnet on there to hold nails, it was stuck on there. Anyways, this is the hook we're going to use. This is all I could really find, and we'll make it work. So I'm thinking something like that. I don't know. Is that going to stay there? Up higher, maybe? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Just gotta make sure it's gonna clear everything. The uh, the opening here sort of goes to there. You can see right there. So probably want to have something at least like that. Maybe like that. And then we could always put something on the edge of the bucket. If it's gonna shoot out, it'll hit it and fall down. I think we're going to go for something like that, right about there. Got a little mark where my finger is. Here we go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's drill this out to fit a bolt. Beautiful. Okay. Before we get horsing around here. Let's make sure we got room on the inside there. Okay, where'd that hook go? So, looks like we got lots of room there. Just gotta watch, there's that bar right there. So, maybe move my hole over just a little bit. Yeah, that should work just fine. Okay, let's 
get that hooked up. I'm just using a basic bolt here, a lock nut, uh, excuse me, a lock washer, two flat washers. Good. Probably could use another flat washer on. I put a flat washer between the hook and the actual sawmill. So if the hook goes left and right, it doesn't rub all the paint off the sawmill. Alright guys, well that's what it looks like and I'm just going to break it a tape measure here just in case you're going to try replicating this. Uh, from the bottom of the back of the sawmill hooked on, you guys can see, we're at about 8 and 3 eighths of an inch to the middle of the, of the hole where the bolt is. So from the bottom to the middle of that bolt hole, 8 and 3 eighths of an inch. And in terms of positioning this way, if we were to, uh, if we were to go you know, relatively close to the middle of that bolt. We're probably at about a uh, pretty bad tape measure, inch and three eighths, inch and three eighths from the center to the back side. And then on the inside, if we have a look here, you guys can see how much space we have, lots of space. You can see where the hole is, just missed this, uh, this bar here. And the only thing you guys are gonna notice here, the door no longer swings all the way parallel to the band wheels. Uh, it'll swing to, where will it swing to? There we go, it'll swing to right there. Okay, that's plenty of space for me, it's not a big deal. Uh, one thing you probably could do if you needed just a little more space, maybe cut that bolt off, take that hook, maybe bend it up so it's, it's not sticking out as far. We'll see, might end up doing that, but I think first things first, let's try it out. So what we're gonna do here, we'll uh, put the bucket on just so we can see how that's gonna go. We're gonna make a few cuts here. We're gonna cut with and without this bucket. You guys can see how that's gonna go. It's just gonna sit on there. The only thing I'm noticing, because it's flat here on the handle, it's gonna to wanna to go one way or the other. But uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Have a look up this way. You guys see up there? You see those, the openings? Some of the sawdust falls there, but I'm hoping it sort of, as it gets weighted down this bucket, it sits just like that. And uh, yeah, now I was just eyeballing it, thinking the bucket was gonna miss all this stuff. Yeah, it still looks good. If you look down there, it's gonna go just on the outside of it there. And then hopefully, when that gets filled up and I'm out sawing in a different location, I just come by, pick the pail up and go dump it wherever. And then just put her back on there like so. Anyways, we're gonna uh, try this out. We'll see if this is any good. If not, well, I just put a bolt hole through my brand new sawmill. Anyways, here we go.
right guys well we made some lumber and we collected some dust so that's a good day <clears throat> let's have a look at what we've made here i added this little piece of plastic on the outside and what it is it's basically a windshield washer uh, container you guys could probably use just about anything wanted to use something plastic because uh it's gonna get wet right the dust isn't exactly always dry so sometimes it's wet most of the time it's wet and uh we want this to last so if we just have a look here i put two bolts one on each side I haven't tightened them down because I wasn't sure if this was going to stay here. But uh, it did a good job of collecting the stuff that wanted to kick up. Now I might even put another bolt right in the end there. That way it'll sort of, uh, if you look at it from this side, it'll sort of deflect the dust when it hits it downwards. Might be a good idea. But overall it collected all the dust. You know, there was some residual that popped up here and there, but very, very little. So uh, I like this thing. I think it's going to work real well. Now, I didn't make a lot of lumber. And this is the total amount of total amount of dust I made. So if you guys have a look there, you know, probably three quarters of a pail, two thirds of a pail there. Kind of nice to have it all collected in one spot. Really shows you what you're dealing with. Some nice stuff there. Anyways, I could now go and dump that wherever I needed it to and uh, go from there. So I'd say that's going to sum up that little project. Great idea. Whoever came up with it, I just borrowed the idea. I'm going to use it for sure. Adding that hook on there was nothing. I drilled three holes in total. Probably the hardest one was putting it in the brand new sawmill. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, it provides some great, uh, great function. So we'll leave that there. That way, when I'm not in an area that's wide open, it'll collect the dust as opposed to shooting it all over my nice lumber, which would be the case when I'm actually sawing under my soon to be constructed lumber shed. Anyways, I guess we'll call it sawmill shed number two. Anyways, uh, sawmill worked great here today. No, uh, no complaints whatsoever. Definitely, uh, definitely happy to have this thing around. And I know some of you guys keep asking me about the height, whether I like the height of this on a trailer or the other one, uh, the other stationary one at the lower height inside the shed. I don't know. I really like this height. There are times when I like the lower one. As an example, when you get a big log up here and you need to adjust the log stops and holy smokes, look at that cut. <laughs> Glad my, uh, my height on my scale was correct. Boy, that was a close one. How much, how much distance do I have there? Maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe less. Wow, that would have made for a different video. Uh, anyways, what was I talking about? Yeah, the height. The only time I don't like the height of this being higher is when you have a big log here and you need to adjust the log stops. Then you either have to try to reach over top of the log or you gotta walk all the way around. Besides that, it's quite comfortable. I can see everything nicely and all the debris falls down underneath the trailer and it's out of the way. The other one, when debris falls down, it's still at like this height. And so it's a bit of a, bit of a cleanup that way. Anyways, that's, uh, that's probably gonna do it for me here today. I had a good time out here, made some lumber, made some sawdust, and I learned something new. I learned that bucket is a good addition to catch dust. I also learned that I gotta be very careful with the log stops. Guys, you all take care out there. If you like this video, make sure you come back next time. I'm sure to be doing something similar because I got to get that lumber shed built slash sawmill shed number two built. And I'm hoping, uh, hoping that goes smooth and hoping you guys join me for that. Guys, you all take care out there. Be well. Enjoy the sun. Maybe not the bugs that just sort of landed on the, on the camera. And uh, see you next time.